Hi friends, it's Celeste, and we are back with more Animal Crossing New Horizons. Hey, how y'all doing? I know it's been a while. It's been, I think, a month since I uploaded my last Animal Crossing video. And, like, two or three weeks since I uploaded a video. Here's the deal. I got onto BookTok somehow. I don't know how, but I got there. And I got sucked in and I started reading lots of books. Like I haven't read books in like years. Not since before college did I read for pleasure. During college, all I read was like things for college. But so I got into book talk and I got the first four court of thorns and roses books and like just ripped through them like i'm halfway through um what's it called a court of frost and starlight and the only reason i haven't finished that one yet is because i struggle with multiple P pov books so yeah i started doing that and i also started adding books to my amazon cart just to like save them and there's probably like at least 10 in there so yeah that's what the couple of weeks after my last upload was and you know for the last week my husband got sick um not the vid but it was not a vibe so yeah there was that and then the planets went into gatorade and here we are so but i'm back and i'm excited and you know i've been playing animal crossing for the last like week because I just got, you know, this sudden need to play after not playing for a couple of weeks. Um, so I just wanted to do a quick little, like, update video on my island just to show you guys what I've been up to. So, first update is in between my last video, I think, and this video, I went villager hunting and I got Maple. I got her in two tickets. And I'm so happy because I love her. I've barely talked to her because I kind of stopped playing after I got her. But I love her. I've never had her on an island before and I've wanted her since I got this game. And the second update is yesterday when I tried filming this video the first time, Eugene asked me to leave. So that is very exciting news. So the Elvis impersonator that haunts my dreams will no longer be on this island. And you get another villager update video. So there's that. And the third update is that I started terraforming. So I'm going to show you that right now. First of all, don't look at the little map. Look at the big map. I started terraforming. So um, we're going to ignore the piece of like dirt in front of the plaza. And also the piece of dirt in front of the airport. And also the, like, backwards C-curve shrimp-looking thing over by the museum because none of those things are permanent. They're just things I was testing out and hate. So, there's that. Um, but yeah, I started terraforming in the corner up there to do my neighborhood. And I really, really love what I'm doing so far. Not 100% on the placement of um, villager homes just yet. Just because, you know, I just want to go with the flow. See what's going to work. See what's not going to work. You know? Um, I'm really happy with how my rivers are looking so far. I um, took a really long time to do those. And I used a tutorial from... I will link her at down below. But Allie, I've been using her like riverscaping tips to kind of do like spindly stuff. Because I suck at riverscaping. Like, I even made a TikTok about this the other day. I hate riverscaping, but I'm doing it and I'm proud of myself. But yeah, let's do a little walk around. I will warn you right now, though, my island, absolute mess. We're just going to ignore it, okay? Okay, cool. All right, here we go. So here is the main pathing we're going to be using. It's just like a little cute little border. I will tell you the ordeal that I had to find this. So, first of all, I saw it on Twitter. 
the first picture I saw on Twitter, um, they didn't tag the creator code. And I don't think they were the creator. But yeah, they didn't tag the creator code. And then I saw another creator use it. Also not the creator. Also didn't tag the creator code. And then I found it on Instagram. Again, not the creator. Did not tag the creator. So there was that. And then two days of searching on Pinterest. And I found it. And I'm very happy because it's perfect. It's exactly what I was thinking. It's exactly what I wanted. So this is going to be the main like thing for our little town area is just going to be dirt with this like cute little border. I might have to look at the other like grass ones they have just to make sure that my grass is the right grass. But also, so it's May 2nd on my island right now. That's not what the day is today. I'm way behind. But um, anyways, I think this grass is perfect for what's before May? April. So, I might do that. Oh, hi, Melba. My beautiful baby. Anyways. I might keep the island in April. Once I do my dream address. But I don't know. But we'll see. We'll see what it looks best in. Maybe it'll look best in, like, fall. Or, like, early, early spring. Who knows? But anyways, I'm rambling. Um, here's my mom. Um reading area if you follow me on tiktok which you should i'll link it below i got a green mum this isn't my first green mum but i got a green mum for the first time ever the other day right here right there and it was the greatest achievement i've ever had on this island because i was breeding it for so long or trying to and then I finally got it and I was so happy that day because green mums I think are the main flower I want to use besides white flowers so there's that um there's not really much update over here besides flick being the absolute king he is just chilling um yeah like I said Eugene's leaving and I'm gonna film a villager hunt video um yeah, not much going on over this way. I'll take you over to this river that I did. Isn't she beautiful? I love her. I tried so hard to make her look so beautiful. And then we got a little boop. And a little boop. And then we're over on the other side. Look at that. I am a master of riverscaping. Expert. Never made a mistake. Never made my rivers too fat. Never made my rivers too thin. Always perfect. Um... Anyways, so in this area, I think what I am going to do is I'm going to, once I get far enough in Happy Home Paradise, which I think I'm going to, I've started setting up like my Twitch. I think I'm going to start streaming on Twitch, maybe, quite possibly, if I ever get up the courage to do it. Um, it's very different than making videos because I can edit out all the stupid stuff I say in a YouTube video, but I can't do that on Twitch, you know? So you guys will hear all of the stupid things I say live. So we'll see if I decide to do that. But I want to get... I haven't started Happy Home Paradise on this island yet. But once I get far enough, I plan on putting a house here. Maybe I'll put Billy's house here. I don't know. And then I'm going to turn this whole area into a little... Even the other side, too. Into a little apple orchard slash, like, little farm area, I think. And then I'm going to edit the outside of the house, once I get that far, into a cute little farmhouse. I think that'll be just, like, absolutely adorable. You know? Um, this is a little river thing I did. Oops, little hop. Um, this is where I want to put my house, kind of in the general area. And I've got to figure out how I'm going to do this. So I've been looking at the pictures of like the actual house that they used for the Bennett house. I've got loads of pictures saved on Pinterest from Pinterest. Um, and it's got like a moat around it. So I don't want like a big thick like square. Just little random piece of water in the middle of my island. So I think I'm going to find a way to like do a moat around it. That looks more natural with the way I'm doing the rest of my rivers and maybe connect it to 
um, the left river opening. I don't know. I haven't decided yet, but I'm gonna, I'm working that out. I'm figuring that out, but I've got so many ideas for around my house that I just can't wait to get to going on. Um, over here is a failed experiment. I used to have a, oop, a little hop. I used to have a gazebo sitting right here. So if you've watched the uh, masterpiece that is the 2005 Pride and Prejudice movie, there's the scene where Darcy proposes to Lizzie for the first time. I want to do that scene somewhere with like the gazebo. I think I showed it to you guys in a different part. It's been a while. Um, but I want to do that. And I have like inspo pics saved. Um, this was a failed attempt because I saw something really cute on Twitter and I failed to execute it from my memory because I lost the picture. But I've got like reference photos from the actual movie of the area and I'm going to redo all this. And I'm really excited for how it's going to look once I'm done because like there's like a big river or lake around that area and there's lots of like trees and vegetation and stuff and I'm like... I see it in my mind how I'm going to do it, so I'm really excited to do it. So I'm going to fix this area, and it's going to look really great. Um, here's my museum. Still haven't done anything except put some trees down and, like, test this pathway. Still not 100% if I'm going to use this one. I love it. I love the flowers in it, and I love the color palette of it. But I'm still, like you know, iffy on it. We'll see if I actually use it. Um, but yeah, I started doing lots of trees because one thing I have learned from this movie is that it's set in an area that has lots of trees, lots of grass, lots of like vegetation in general, and a whole lot of nothing else. So, if my island has no decoration and just a whole bunch of this, don't be surprised. Um, now let's go to the corner of shame, where it's just all my trees that I didn't feel like um, cutting down because I didn't have the proper axe and I was too lazy to make one. That's where I put all these and, you know, half of my bushes because... I was too lazy to move all of them. And then, you know, a bunch of flowers that I've been... Oh, let's pick that up so those can breed. Um, all the flowers that I've been too lazy to put places. So, yeah, there's that. That's the corner of shame. I think my campsite is going to stay over here. Not in this exact place, but it's going to stay in the corner of shame. Um, and then, you know, we got this here randomly just decided to put these like little pieces of um cliff here because I had the idea because this beach is like so small I had the idea to kind of cut it off from like the rest of the island except for this little like little spot of access right here and when I move my house this will be like a little secret secret beach like you know cute little picnic area thing I don't know. I'm not very good at decorating beaches. So we'll see if I even decorate any of them. I was testing out the path here. I'm going to change this. I promise. This doesn't look good. Let's go up to this area and I'll show you what I'm doing up here. So up here is where I'm going to do all my villager houses. This one I think is going to stay here for sure. And I'm going to take this river and I think bring it along and kind of bring it down where I want to do the gazebo area. I'm going to do like a cute little waterfall -y thing. This house and this house. I'm not... These are the ones that I'm not 100% on. Because I don't know if I want like a just a line of houses, you know? I don't know if I want it quite that structured, but we will see when it gets to it. Um, This one I think is for sure. This one's for sure. And then this one here is for sure. So I just got to like kind of play around with how I want to put them and like what kind of pathing and what kind of decoration I'm going to do around it. But there's that. 
I'm really happy with how this like little river turned out up here. I'm like so proud of myself. I have never been good at like riverscaping. This little thing took forever. Like this little like Y bend thing here because I just like, I had it, I didn't have this part at first. And I was like, oh, that looks like so weird without like branching off, especially when you go over here. So I wanted to do something and I'm so happy. It's probably not gonna end up looking like this. It's probably gonna come around like boop, 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 bleh, you know? Quit hopping over there, oh my gosh. But yeah, so that's the way the island is looking so far. I'm really happy with how things are turning out. And like, it doesn't seem like a lot of progress, but you know, when you got multiple kids under the age of three and not a lot of free time, you get what you get, you know? You do what you do and you just deal with it, you know? All right, friends, I think that is where I'm gonna call the video today. I am very excited to keep terraforming, very excited to get going on decorating. I can't wait to show you all once I've got some more areas done. Like I said before, I think my next video for Animal Crossing is going to be a villager hunt. So that will be fun. We got Pemberley's next top villager, Cutthroat Edition 2.0 coming for you. I'm very excited. Very excited to get rid of Eugene, finally. Um, but yeah, let me know if you'd be interested in watching me on Twitch as well. Um, I think that would be fun. We'll do some like happy home paradise. Might do some villager hunting because I only have eight right now. I can get two more. So yeah, let me know if you'd be interested in that. My Twitch link will be down below so you can follow me on there. And my other social media links will be down there as well. My Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok, as always. So, you know, if you're not following me on there, you should follow me on there to, like, you know, see me tweet good morning every day and then nothing else, because that's all I do, really. <laughs> um, if you like the video, please hit the like button. If you like my content, please subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Bye! Bye!